Hey, Techie, do you think Genshin is dying? That's a very interesting question, person in chat who definitely exists. Genshin dying, once again, is something that I see pretty much consistently in my year as a content creator. Uh, almost every four weeks, maybe, maybe not exactly four weeks, but four weeks into every patch, everybody says Genshin is dying, Genshin is dying, what's the next game, where are we going, Techie, where are you taking us? And as much as I appreciate all the support on all my variety videos and all my variety streams, which are doing better than pretty much this little boy could have ever imagined. And yes, I've been thinking about doing this since I was a little kid. Uh, I want to weigh in on this subject because I never really have. But <laughs> I'm pretty much the guy who addresses the loud spoken of the community. And I guess today is going to be no different. And yeah, people will probably get pissed off when I make for a more Gen Z and knuckle-dragging, mouth-breathing idiots, but that's where we're at right now. Is Genshin dying? Now, this happens every four weeks into a major patch because this is what we call the dead zone. And by the way, if you're new to Genshin Impact, uh, welcome. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and follow my Twitch because we're going to be doing a giveaway right now because I do a shitload of giveaways and I like doing that for all my subs on my YouTube and the followers on my Twitch thanks for being here okay four weeks every patch is the dead zone of Genshin Impact and here is why okay every six weeks since the start we get a new major patch where something huge is introduced and Mahoyo made us a promise that every six weeks we would be getting a new patch and so far for almost a calendar year they have never let us down on that promise which is why I continued to play because everything Mahoyo has said they were gonna do they did. Besides make the garden system good, and also besides the whole KFC collab wings coming over for non-Eastern continents, but, you know, it's it's fine. It's coming, dude. It's, it's fine. It's fine, bro. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Three weeks, okay? Patch drops. Inazuma comes out. Lore, story, chest, sealies, new mobs, new dungeons. Dope. You burn through all of it in two weeks. And this is why I take the game super fucking slow, like a slug, okay? Because this game gets depressing when you burn through everything. I try to get one new chest every single day. The new patch drops, okay? You go, 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 go. You burn through it. Then the new banner drops three weeks later. And you have it, and it's fun for about four or five days to a week. And if you're a free-to-play... Well, the dead zone starts for you a little bit earlier, and then you go watch people on Twitch, like twitch.tv for slash takedown, where I'm here, and you watch me use the new unit, and then you hear, oh, this unit sucks. Ah, oh, this unit's amazing. This unit needs a buff. This unit needs a nerf. Fuck you, techie. I love you, techie. Fuck you, techie. And that's pretty much how every single patch update goes. Okay, this time we got Yoimiya. This was the coin flip. People said she needed a nerf. Then we had Eula coin flip, also said she needed a nerf. And then we got fucking Ganyu. I mean, the opposite. She needed a buff, she needed a buff. You get what I'm saying. Either the characters are giga overpowered, or the characters are giga underpowered, and then we're just gonna fucking bitch about it, when in reality, you can beat this entire fucking game with physical Chi Chi and a fucking Amber. Okay? This is the part where everybody says, what the fuck is happening? Why am I playing? And generally, they take a little bit of time off. And the reason why that is, is because the dev live stream has not happened yet, or it has not been announced. And let me tell you when I think that will be happening, okay? Generally, the time frame for the new live streams to announce everything that's coming for 2.1 will be happening somewhere in between, I feel, in the next two days or the next nine days. And the reason why that is, is because it's either gonna happen at the end of the first week, or it's gonna happen on the end of the second week, and then that's when everybody will be excited, analytics will shoot up, and speaking of analytics, let me pull those up. As you can tell right here, this these last like 12 or so weeks, or six or however long this is, really demonstrate how Genshin Impact goes within the community. Severe ups, and then severe downs, severe ups, and then severe downs, severe ups. And this is generally the point where a lot of content creators get very, 
confused. They don't know what to do. On the severe downs, that's pretty much where every single content creator I have ever seen has quit. Okay, and there's been a lot of people who have quit Genshin Effect. It might not have been for those specific reasons. Like we had Matt Jestic, who got attacked by a Russian hacker, allegedly. Uh, Damone Kim got bored out of his mind. Zeal's Ambitions got bored out of his mind. Uh, and many other content creators have stopped or at least stopped posting as frequent because the downs that Genshin Impact are disgusting. And the ups are fucking awe-inspiring. The dopamine hit when you see that number one performing video is ridiculous. So for content creators, that's the stress they get. For regular players, that's also what they get on the other hand that I, of the things that I mentioned previously. So I myself believe that we're going to be getting a dev live stream pretty damn soon. Because in case you don't know, the shit for Inazuma, we've only gotten half of Inazuma so far. Which is why I thought this patch was so masterfully done. Because if they gave us all six islands, and yes, we were told that they were going to be six islands, uh, we only got three of them. Okay, for 2.1, I know we're getting a lot of shit. Just to name a few, we're going to be getting three new characters in the form of Ball, Kujo Sara, and Kakomi. Big fat Kakomi. Okay? Now, obviously, everybody is stoked for Ball because how the fuck could you not be? Okay? Three new characters, dope. Hopefully, three new story quests. We'll probably only get two. I have no idea how they're going to get me to like Kakomi, but maybe they will. Maybe it'll be another instance like Kazuha. But we're also getting a big-ass island, which the one that I think is going to be somewhere around here, in my opinion. I can't confirm any of that. But there are a couple islands you can go to. If you go to this island right here, you can actually see a couple of the other islands in the distance. And they look pretty fucking dope. With three new characters coming in, there is no fucking way they are going to require us to use Ashdaha as mats anymore for ascending them. Okay, and there's no way they're also going to use Tartalia, um, Dvalin, and also the Wolf Boss to pre-farm for those either. And the reason why that is, is because Genshin and Mahoyo have been very wise about the way that they time-gate their players. Because what they do is, is they release new characters with mats that there's no way to farm. So, in my opinion, next patch when we get three new fucking characters, I also think we're getting a new raid boss, and I think we're getting a new regular, like, boss drop fight. If I were to predict anything, I think we're going to get a ball fight, and I think she's going to be right here, because Mahoyo already coded out the fight for ball. Maybe that'll be for a story quest, but I think we're going to get ball as a raid boss fight, like we did for Tartalia. That's what makes sense to me. And I think she's going to go right here, because right now this kingdom is guarded regardless, so we can't enter. And then I think we're going to get a new boss over here, and it'll probably be Electro. That probably makes sense. No, it won't. It'll probably be some weird-ass gimmicky, like, machine part, or maybe, like, a fan. I don't know what the fuck it's going to be, but it's going to be something to ascend the other characters. So right now, I think with 2.1, we're going to get a new island. I think for 2.1, we're going to get three new characters. And I think for 2.1, we're going to get a raid boss and a boss fight. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any new artifacts, which I'm going to be melancholic about. But I could be wrong, and I would love to be surprised. But here's the thing that I highly recommend you go do whenever you get bored of Genshin Impact. Legit, just stop playing. I'm a content creator. The way that I play this game is completely unrealistic. Not only have I spent over $40,000 in this fucking game to make sure that I can make fun content consistently for almost a year now, and yes, I could go free to play, but so many people are doing that. I'd rather do something that only I can do. It, my entire life, financially, has been paid off by Mahoyo and Genshin Impact. Now, Mahoyo doesn't sponsor me to do anything, but I get to use their game to make money. Okay? And I feel horrible if all I do is I just take that money and keep it to myself. I like taking that money and reinvesting it into the game because otherwise I feel guilty. Is that a stupid mindset? Probably. Am I a fucking idiot? Totally. Okay? I don't fucking care. People say, oh, don't take Tectone's Guide seriously. And that's right. You shouldn't because I don't take this game seriously. This game is a pure for fun game for me. 
and Mahoyo has treated me nothing but kindness. I mean, whenever I have a question, they're right there to answer it, and I love this company right now. I said this once, and I'll say it again. If Genshin Impact ever becomes bad, I'm gonna fucking quit on the goddamn spot. But as far as I see, they've been good for over a year. The CM reps have treated me with nothing but respect, and this is the most respect I've ever gotten from any game I've ever played. So yeah, it feels good because in case you've been following me for a while, I've been treated like shit by so many people and by so many companies. And shit, even the fucking community fucks me sometimes. The shit that people have accused me of saying or doing, the amount of misquotes that I get even to this day, to this day, I am still getting misquoted. Because once again, my entire argument for Ayaka was that her dash is bad and a team comp can't fix that dash. Yes, I did mention people could just walk out of her hole. And yes, you could run a freeze comp to circumvent that. But at the end of the day, you cannot fix a poor mechanic, AKA Ayaka's dash with a team comp. It's the same thing with fucking Ganyu. It's the same thing with fucking uh, Ayaka. It's the same thing as when I've been canceled on Twitter. I have been through so much adversity and that's the reason why I will not quit. Because honestly, the amount of adversity, the amount of controversy that in my mind I have gotten for either little to no reason. Obviously there, there are some nuggets and obviously there are some outliers of that. People being so fucking stupid and accusing me of doing shit that I never did and trying to piss me off on the regular. That honestly gives me motivation to keep playing because I know there are people who are trying to take me down. And that feels good for me to try to overcome that shit. And to be honest, I have. Channel's doing good. Genshin Impact's doing good. I'm a happy boy. But if all else fails for you, here is the one video that we're going to watch together right now that I watch every single time I think, what the fuck is next for Genshin Impact? Oh, let's go! Time to say goodbye. So let's not call it that. This fucking video, man, gave me so much hope. Let's not forget that Mahoyo has claimed to have a minimum 10-year plan for Genshin Impact. Legit fucking how? 10 years? I can't even the imagine that. Hey, already begun. y'all's phones are gonna be it fucking just dead. just a continuation of past battles. The gods goad us on with the promise of their True. seven treasures. Mm -hmm. Rewards for the worthy. The doorway to divinity. Yet, yet bear I think the narrator is Dainsleif, but don't quote me on that. In the Pretty damn sure. It's a sexy remains, dude for sure. A warning to those that dare trespass. That throne in the sky is not reserved for you. One of my biggest regrets to this day is picking Lumine over Aether. I fucking love Aether so much, but I fucking picked Lumine and I hate her. I fucking wish I could switch, man. But mortal irrigation. It drives, it drives me nuts. None will escape the flames. See for yourself. God, the OST is beautiful. The dragon who defended Mondstadt for a millennium finally faces. Let's go! Dvalin, baby! What does freedom really mean when demanded of you by a god? Y'all remember when Deluke was cool? <laughs> God, it hurts. Oh, shit. Poor Deluke. Poor Deluke, man. Small. The god of contracts senselessly slaughtered. Jean Lee, baby, let's go. He still is. Copium, copium, copium. True, dude. In the end, he will sign the contract to end all contracts. Yes. In the secluded. This is where we're at right now. A minute and a half into a video. Omnipresence over Land mortals. The immortal shogun, the Bakugou's eternal. We're here. We're here, boys. But what do mortals see Ayaka. the eternity chased after by their god? Beautiful, beautiful character. The god of wisdom's. Think about that, Ayaka. We're on part. We're on Act Two. Okay, Act Three. This will be in like eight Enemy months. Is wisdom itself? And the oasis of knowledge is a mirage in the desert of ignorance. In the city of scholars, there is a push for folly. Yet the god of... Hey, it's Farah from uh, Overwatch. Wisdom makes no argument against it. Real talk, I don't know who that is. They look so fucking dope. 
That looks so dope. The God of Justice lives Hail in the, the spectacle Sino. of the courtroom, seeking to judge all other gods. But even she knows not to make an enemy of the divine. Okay. I want to talk about this character so much, and here's why. Every other character they have shown by themselves. That's why I think that these two are going to be a unit of two characters who play at the same time together. But they also look like they're going to be different elements. But who the fuck knows what Genshin Impact's going to be like in two years? Okay? But I really feel like they're going to be a package deal. I don't know. It just looks that way. It could be like, uh, like, like, uh, like, like ice climbers in Melee, bro. Like ice climbers in melee, you know it works, or or like or like Willop, Nunu and Willop in League of Legends. The rules of war are woven in the wound. The victors shall burn bright, Fuck, while the dude. losers must turn to ash. When the god of war shares this secret with the traveler, so. Fucking sick, dude. This cutscene, the beat drop. Good God, this shit gives me fucking goosebumps every fucking time. It's because she has. Good her God. Reasons. I hope that she's like Nell from Bleach, because that skull on the top of the head reminds me of Nell from Bleach, and that when she alts, she goes like big mode. You know what I mean? Like regular e punching baby girl mode. When she alts, fucking. Big girl mode would be so sick. She is a god. We need some type of shapeshifter that doesn't just turn into a fucking bird, like in this There's game. There's no love left for her people, nor do they have any left for her. Swear to God, if we have to wait till Act fucking six, if we have to wait till Act six to go to Shneznaya to get fucking Senora, I am going to lose my fucking mind. Okay? Because all 34 artists have already fucked me up and up with this character. Okay? I'm gonna need Senora before then. Her followers Please. hope only to be on her side when the day of her rebellion against the divine comes at last. In the perpetual meantime of a sheltered eternity, most are content to live and not to dream. Also, I'm gonna say this right now, and I believe Notland's the name of the fire area. The premise and the idea of a fire area scares the fucking balls out of my nutsack. Because walking around in random lava pits and like the entire area having like an overheat meter would stress me the fuck out. So I don't know how the fuck they're going to make that cool. But that's going to be stressful, man. But in the hidden corners where the gods gaze does not fall, there are those who dream of dreaming. So this is the part where everything is deleted and then Honkai Impact and Genshin crossover. Some say a few... I predicted it right here. I'm telling you, Honkai Impact and Genshin Impact's world are going to connect at some point in this game. More so than they already do in Honkai. You are chosen and the Just rest like. are dregs. But I say we humans have our humanity. We will defy this world with a power from beyond. Dude, I need Dane's Leaf so bad, it makes me want to break my fucking PC every goddamn time I see him and he's not in my fucking party. Dude, he's so goddamn sick. He's like Dimitri from Fire Emblem. He looks so goddamn dope. He looks so goddamn dope. set foot in this world. Your journey has reached its end, but one final yep. doorway remains. Yep. Step forth if you have understood the meaning of your journey. Defeat me. Command me to step aside. Show me that you are worthier than I to rescue her. Yes, please. Then yes, Daddy Dangsliff. The threads of all fate will be yours to reweave. Yes, Daddy. this man! God, such a sick fucking video, man. I'm telling you, if you ever get tired of Genshin Impact and you just need someone to re-hype you up or whenever you decide to take a break and come back, just watch that fucking video. It'll be like nothing ever came or nothing ever left, but for real. First of all, where the fuck is Dendro? True. Where the fuck is Dendro? Probably patch 8.7. Who knows? But for real, if you're not having fun with Genshin, just chill. You can come back literally anytime, and that's only a net positive, in my opinion. Or you can stick around and hang out and talk to the community, because that, in my opinion, that's the greatest part. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a big part of the community that just fucking sucks to deal with. But I like my community. I like my boys. 
I like everybody who comments in my YouTube section, and if I don't, I just fucking shadow man them, and it's easy. Okay, but if you ever want to talk, if you want to hang out, feel free to join my Discord and join my Twitch. All those are linked in the description. And I literally don't mean to do that to shill. And I hope y'all ever, I hope y'all don't, don't ever think that. Okay? My Twitch, so many homies. I've met some of my best boys in my fucking Twitch chat, like ever. And, and best friends too now. And join my Discord too. We're about 90,000 people because my fucking ditzy wife booted 16,000 people from it accidentally. Anywho. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I think Genj is in a great spot right now. I can't wait to stick with it. I hope it keeps it up because this game is fun as fuck. And uh, yeah, see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.